All right, day four. Wes is hauling some garbage and some stuff back to camp, base camp. Getting more food. Because what we got left is on our backs for today. And now it's go time for Kendall. Go time for Kendall. He's up. And it's a beautiful morning. A little more clear than what we've been dealing with. Hope those goats move a little farther, a little closer to us, because it looked like they're about six or seven miles from where we're at now. So it could be a long day. Okay, go, yeah, hey, Kendall, which way is the wind blowing? It's going Same. that way. Is it flavored? Yeah, that, that's working. It's working for me.
Good morning, Tim. Checking in from 3,000 vertical feet above sea level. It is, uh, we've just discovered that the goats we're looking at are a man and a young Billy. So we are going to run up here and tidy the summit real quick, sign the register, and then we'll go around the backside and uh, go find those other goats that bugged out. And then I'm gonna put an arrow in one of them. Or a bullet. I, I'm not. All weapons matter. Yes. our boys.
part.
like it just was hair. Rad hunt. Super rad hunt. Wow. Two archery goats in one year. <laughs> We are out in Narnia here. We've gone through the portal. <laughs> Went through the door and we are in a different land. Hope you get back. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, he bled hard. Nice job, son. What a stock. <laughs> that, was, that was a long... 422. It's not done yet. Oh yeah. Want me to go get the packs? Let's see what the mileage is on this thing. We need to hustle, hustle, so. Yeah, we'll grab our four miles, four and a quarter miles from home. Is that all? One mile an hour. Yeah. It's ugly miles though. Like this is more like eight miles. Yeah, well. That's the moonscape we have to cover in two uh, ranges, basically. The cool thing about going over is we can just run that, we can just run the ridge, run the plateau. Yeah, this one's dead. Look how much longer that one is than this one. He's got a real wide flare to him also. Yeah, he's pretty. Um, oh, heck yeah. I can skip back and grab packs because I don't think your guys is as heavy. Your packs are You didn't nice. have any faith in me? Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Leave knives in camp. Uh, should we, uh, let's just, I think right here is going to be as good as anything. Yeah. Get some nice pictures. He's coming right into that saddle. Yeah. And then he buggered back to here, and he stopped where about you are. He was leaving. Look at that! Look at all that blood! Like almost immediate. He's lucky. Nine and seven eighths, there, guy. Really sweet. Look at, Look at that man just sling that thing up on there. I should have gave him that bag of meat. <laughs> Shoot, I'm kidding. All right. Nothing left but the crying. And Kendall's got to bend way down there and get them trekking poles off the ground. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 uh. Look at up them big knee pads. <laughs> In case you fall down, old man. Thank you, boys. Well done. Thank both of you. Alright. Feel like a hunter. You might not be much of a hunter, but you're sure a killing son of a gun today. <laughs> <laughs>
started way down on the other side of that. Watch these guys viciously climb up this. Now we get to cautiously traverse this and down that down over into another valley back up that ridge right where those clouds are over that down into another valley until about just the other side of that is our camp she's a poke but she's pretty nice one guys looking with some animals here There's the moon. Now we're actually having fun. Oh. We are. I thought we were having fun already. Yeah. The moon makes everything better. We gotta. That was a tough day yesterday. Yep. Good one though. Yeah. Memorable. Not gonna lie. It was pretty cool how it all played out. So we had a long, long night. Left the kill site at 7.15, got back to camp just shy, oh, what, 10.30, 11? Yeah, 10 30. about almost 11, yeah, yeah. 11. It was a hustle. It was a long one. All right. We got a big goat in the pack. Kendall's rocking his second breakfast and chooping his mate. Yep. Colors is funny are awesome. The leaders are up there, they're throwing in some meat. About to make our first leg of our export trip. Haul out all the meat and capes. We've got two goats, one bear, and then we'll uh, get back to camp. Come back, <clears throat> load up all this jackabah. Yeah. Meet us a plane, hopefully, huh? Finally waking up. You're still in your undies. I know. You got caters on over your undies. I know. I'm just gonna throw rain pants over top of, of my jammy. Stellar. Merino base layer pants and rally. Stellar. I like it. It's gonna be another long downhill. Do you see how far that, that ocean is down there? Yeah. It's, it's a fair bit. Oh, it's a beautiful morning to get out of here. But you notice that little bite in the wind? It is a bit chilly. I think, there's, I think it was saying snow. Well, I, went to the, I don't know whatever today is, but... Saturday. Today's Saturday. Is it Saturday today? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. It was saying snow in Valdez overnight, Saturday to Sunday or maybe Monday. That's, that's really beautiful morning. Heading back up for camp and the rest of the load. And this guy decided to open up. I blame Kendall because he was wearing a t-shirt all the way to him. Good thing is after we get down to the bottom this time, we don't have to come back up though. I know. I'm looking forward to that fact. That's a pleasant thought. Yeah. <clears throat> We're all uh Loaded. You can hear our shins cracking. Yeah, better load. You want help with it? I think I got her. It took us two and a half to get down last time. Westerbader in Amsterdam. <laughs> kind of sounds like the big boy. the engine warmed up for you.
it's all your murder rap and keep them together. <laughs>